Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mike here from AXC Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Another episode on this 2002 All Stock R6 Type S with just 63,000 original miles. On the last episode, we went ahead to refinish a bunch of panels and taken away all the imperfection. And man, this thing looked really, really good. And today's episode, we'll be working under the hood, doing some routine maintenance, and then we're gonna refinish the front and the rear brakes. And last but not least, we're gonna put in a set of brand new OEM Plus wheels and tires. We got a lot on the list, so let's get started. All right, guys, first thing on the list, we have some factory OEM fluid, including engine oil, coin, and also some manual transmission fluid, along with the factory engine oil filter. So over here, first thing is, let's go ahead and get the car up in the air, and then uh, let's go ahead and get some fluid drained out. And underneath here, very, very clean for a 63,000 miles vehicle, not a drop of oil leaks anywhere. So start off with uh, engine oil drain plug and also the filters, which is right over here. It's an aftermarket one, it's okay. We'll replace with a factory OEM one. Transmission fluid drain and also the fill, 17 right over here. And also for the coin, which is that little fitting right over here. So let's go ahead and start it, drain the engine oil. All right guys, we got the transmission fluid all drained it out and now just time to put the fluid back in. Now TJ got a really special tool right over here. What, what do you have there TJ? This is a custom funnel that I you know, set up myself, which I'm, I'm pretty proud of, I might add. <laughs> and this will go right into the upper bolt hole to fill up the tranny fluid instead of having to go crazy and take off the speed sensor and do all that crazy stuff. Yeah, so pretty much it's just a little shortcut so instead yep. of taking everything off, we can, now we can just access to mm -hmm. the fender well. So show me what you got going there. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna slide it right through here, just like so. And we're gonna go right into the fill hole. Just like that. And now we're in. Now we just pour our fluid right up in here. and a light stream of fluid coming down from the fill, meaning some perfect level. So let's go ahead and put the plug back in the transmission. And 
Next up, let's go ahead and train the engine core. good to go here so next up let's work on the brakes all right guys we are all done with the maintenance that we need to do engine oil manual transmission fluid and also the engine cooling next up last work on the brakes we have brand new rotors and also brake pads but before we put that on why don't we take the opportunity to refresh the calipers front and back. Now we have done on field this previous episode before, so we're not gonna bore you with the detail how to do it step by step, but we'll go ahead and put a link right up here and also in the description so you can check that out. And to do this job, all you guys need is a few things, some brake cleaner or degreaser with a brush, some masking tape, and also some spray paint. Now we found this duper color engine enamel aluminum DE1615 is one of the closest to the factory OEM finish. Once it's all done with just $8, it's going to completely transform your wheel well and also your caliper. So let's get this started by removing all of the calipers.
All right, guys, we are all done with the calipers and also the bracket came out really, really nice. Next up, let's go ahead and change out the original old brake rotors to these upgraded stop tag slotted brake rotors along with some factory brake pads.
guys, we got the wheel brakes and the front brakes completely put back together before we mount the new wheels and tires. Let's take a look at these fender liners. All warp and just not looking right. So before we get the new wheels and tire mounted, let's go ahead and get this fender liner replaced with a brand new OEM unit. So let's go ahead and get it done. And just as I suspected, the fender liner that came with the car is an aftermarket unit. The factory unit should fit very, very good without any gaps along the fender. So let's go ahead and get a new one back in the car. So nice with the new fender liners along with the refinished caliper and the new rotors so let's go ahead go check out the new wheels that we're about to install What do we have here, John? So we have a new set of rims and tires. And I'll tell you what, they're not just any rims and tires. We got some nice Pirelli P0 Nero GTs and a 225-45-17. And the coolest part is straight from King Motorsports, we have a brand new set of Mugen NRZ wheels. Mugen. I mean, not Mugen. many people, <laughs> not many people get brand new Mugen wheels, Mugen, excuse me out of the box, then that's what you guys are gonna get to see right here, going on one fine RSX. Straight from King Motorsports, the king of motorsports. All right, so here we have them. And the nice thing about this wheel is this is pretty much a factory optional wheel. Uh, in Japan, you could buy this wheel from the dealership as a optional wheel. And moreover, you can see on the back that it says Honda Motor Company. Um, it's an Enki wheel, just like our optional wheels and factory wheels. Everything is Honda, center cap is Honda. This is a Honda wheel but moving so we're not as lucky except for a couple of models in the united states to be able to purchase moving stuff directly from the dealer but right now we have it straight from king motorsports and we're going to go ahead and get it put in uh tell me about the size 17 by i don't know i don't what Let's was take a look in the back <laughs> so anyway so uh the size is for these wheels are 17 by seven with a plus 45, which is the same thing on a 05, 06 RSX Type S. So, so our fitment should be exactly to that second gen wheel on there. Now the owner do want to run uh, the tires a little bit wider on a 225 rather than a 215. Yeah, the standard tire is a 215. His son is gonna be primarily driving this car, pretty lucky kid and he wanted to make sure the car had a little bit more meat. We're not gonna be lowering the car. So this should help fill the gap in a little bit. And this wheel 
tire, I should say, has a lip guard to it. Maybe it might help save the rim. So let's go ahead and get it put on. The Pirelli P0 tires along with the 17-inch Mugen wheels are all mounted and balanced thanks to John and guys, let's go ahead and put them on the car. Hey guys, we are all done with this 2002 R6 Type S from the exterior refinish from Brian at Pink Society. We got also the maintenance done, brand new brakes and rotors along with brand new Pirelli P0 tires along with this 17 inch Mugen wheel from King Motorsport. Man, this car is looking really good. And I think the teenager getting this car is gonna be extremely pleased. You guys haven't already done so, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel and drop a comment below and let us know how we are doing. My name is Mike, I wanna thank you for watching our channel and also help us rebuild our community. Hope to see you guys on the next one.